get this. Remembering to take medications can be challenging for some people, but one day an implant may replace medications that need to be taken orally in certain cases. One lab in Houston is developing refillable implants placed under the skin to potentially deliver life-saving medicine at a low cost for various diseases. VOA's Elizabeth Lee reports from the Houston Methodist Research Institute. Researchers at this lab are developing a way to deliver drugs to patients through a small implant that doesn't require a pumping mechanism. These implants are inserted under the skin of patients and then deliver the drugs for an extended period of time, for months and potentially years, and they continue releasing the drug until the drug is completely gone. Medication is released through membranes with nanochannels inside different implants like these. They end up acting like glands, are like artificial glands inside of the body. They do the things that the glands in the body normally do, secrete the necessary molecules when they are needed. The nanochannel delivery system can provide either a steady and constant dose of a drug or one that can be controlled remotely. We decided to, to invent and develop this system that can be remotely controlled. So the, via a phone, or via uh, remote control, via Bluetooth, you can modulate the drug administration over time so that you can increase it, decrease it, suspend it. These implants are different sizes and can deliver drugs for conditions like high blood pressure and rheumatoid arthritis, for HIV prevention, even for cancer. So what we have envisioned is a device, a tiny little device, is the size of a grain of rice that can be inserted via a needle, just simple needle, inside of a tumor mass and deliver immunotherapy straight inside of the tumor. Another possibility is to use the implant to deliver a drug that fights obesity by helping patients lose fat without changing their diets. NASA is also conducting research on the implants with nanotechnology to help solve the problem astronauts experience. Once they go in space, they tend to lose muscle and as well as bone density unless they work out. So we have focused on uh, a specific medication trying to prevent muscle atrophy from occurring. And we have sent animals in space, uh, rodents, and we tested uh, this, this implant for a period of about two months. We are now in the, in the process of analyzing the, 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 all the samples and the data. Using the implant for HIV prevention could enter the clinical trial phase within three years. It may take several more years before other applications of the implant are tested on humans as research continues. Elizabeth Lee, VOA News, Houston.